Alrighty guys, looking at the lawn right now. Whoa. A lot of different colors, huh? So, this right here has been getting plenty of sun. Grab a good blade of grass here. I didn't weed eat the last time I mowed, so that's a lot of luck on the grass. This is what a color you usually see. I've been working with this over studying your lot. Here. That's the one piece. Here's what it looks like over here. Interesting, huh? This all has to do with sun. Uh, right here, in particular. So this one is from over there by the cypress trees. It was about right there, and this other one was right over here. And then here's this other one. A lot of different colors going on in the lawn right now. And nothing I'm really going to do about it. It just has to do with all the rain we've been getting. So, yeah, it's just what it all has to do with rain. I've had so much of it. But believe it or not, guys, I my, talked to my grandfather today because I've been down on the ranch for two weeks now. We're going down next weekend for a big family reunion. And I'll sh maybe if I can, I'll show you the hay field, all the hay fields. Supposedly, I heard that one one of our hay fields, it's falling over. It's, there's so much grass. That's amazing. Haven't had that happen since 2015. And my grandfather really wants to make hay again because he really actually would be, it would be really good if we could make hay again. Um, that's just east of here. And they've had a little less than us. But the, that Tifton and the coastal grass, they grow like nothing. If you get a point zero five of an inch, five hundredths of an inch, It'll grow. That grass will grow. Even though that it's just like a dew. Like in July, if we get a very heavy dew, it pops right back up and it starts to grow again. So, we've had over 11 inches here. Exactly a foot. No, we've had over 12 inches now. And that's what's going on. But now, our problem is, is it's starting, we're starting to have like a week or two of like, very seldom rain and you know it's just you know if, if we cut hay again just think of all the wet ground the sun's gonna be drying up the soil it's really that's all there it stays pretty wet for a long time so it's just like what do we do and I am I'm getting so close to asking people if I can mow. Um, I'm going to see if I can mow a few properties on Thursday. I mean, these yards are growing like nothing. They've slowed down now due to the fact that we actually, it's pretty, it's slowing down on growth. But... Man, we're going to get sun today and tomorrow, so everything's going to start shooting back up. So we have a lot, we've had a lot of cloudiness lately, and now it looks like there's rain way back over there. It's a big thunderhead. And so, you know, things are going to start shooting back up again. And I think one week I mowed my yard two times because it was getting over, it was so tall. I mowed it twice in one week. That's how I've had to do it lately. I'm almost contemplating of just running it over really quickly. But um 
my other the backyard. I don't know why it's not growing, but it's usually the one that's growing the most right now. It's kind of slowing down. We're actually getting sun, and I'm noticing some color changes already since this morning. Like, it's getting a little more green. And I think in a little while, my dad's going to come out, and we're going to put out some Anuvia on the yard um, and just see what we can do with it. Um, it'll be a good idea because the rain's just kind of slowing down, but it's going to spark back up on Wednesday or Thursday, maybe, but you know, I don't know what to do. It this, These yards are getting so tall. I just cut one on Wednesday, and I'm looking at it, and it's getting tall again in one area. So, and I got to make invoices tonight and all sorts of stuff I've been procrastinating on for a long time. I got to make one invoice. It's not like I have to make 100, but it's just one I've got to make. I mean, over at my neighbor's, he runs a lawn business, but the Bermuda here is looking like this. And he hasn't mowed his year in a long time, but in a month or so, but that, some of, that's what it was looking like across the street from me on Wednesday. I had to double cut it, and I had to triple cut one area. So, it really explains that we've been getting a lot of growth. And the sun is coming out, and I'm seeing, like, this afternoon, I'm noticing color changes. So, I mean, we've had such good rain. There's so much moisture in the ground, but the yard won't grow because there's just we've had so much cloudiness. And the hay fields, I heard, are doing really good. But otherwise, my neighbors, my properties I have, gosh, forget that. There's a lot of growth, guys. Like, I haven't seen this much in the longest time. That's it. It's gonna start growing. Everything's just, it'll be, this yard will have shot up a lot by tomorrow afternoon. And more rain tomorrow. And it's looking like we're going to have another wet year. So, yep, I'm going through the troubles I had in 2015. So, and, yep, it's really, we are re I'm really having a great season right now. I'm ha we're having the spring we've never had and since 2015. Otherwise, our spring past three springs have been super 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 pretty dry we've gotten rain but still it gets dry but yeah i remember the last time i had a good mow this past summer and then it got super dry and it was already getting super dry i was only mowing properties that had were getting watered i'm gonna do my neighbors because i need to um but yeah, as you can see, pretty darn tall. You hear the scroll? I don't know why they make that noise. <laughs> but. I think, no, that's my dog. Huh. Like, shoot, that's cats or something. Well, anyways, I'm planning on getting John Deere greased and doing one more property that I didn't get to the other day. And figured, why not just go over it? Uh, yep, yeah, so, anyways, that's really all I've got to say about the yards and trying to make hay again. And, guys, I'm sorry I don't make as many ranch videos but we're gonna get to them oh man I like all this wet stuff on here it's gonna eat the paint eat my metal too this liquid is 
something to do. Really gotta get some paint on here. But anyways, guys, that's just what happens when you've got an 11-year-old lawnmower. Right. Anyways, I guess that's just about it. I'm going to go maybe do some mowing real quick. Uh, I really don't know, but I've got so many things I could do right now. And I'm trying to decide what I want to do first. Anyways, we'll see you all later. Bye.